And welcome back. Mark Taylor Canfield in Seattle. Hey, Mark, what's up? What's what's going on today? Hey, Tom, I'd like to give a quick report on Seattle's new anti-caste discrimination ordinance. But last time we talked, you asked me if I had a website updating people on my potential run for Seattle City Council. Mm -hmm. But I have until May to make my decision, and we're working on that. But until then, I have a lot of folks following me on Facebook, and I also suggest that people check out my YouTube channel where you can get um, my journalism as executive director for Democracy News called the MTC Report as well as my latest music video dedicated to people fighting for freedom and justice around the world called Mother Freedom. Okay. And by the way, all my YouTube videos are ad-free, so I'm very not cool. making any money off of that. Yeah, I, I know you have a very active uh, YouTube page over there, or site, or whatever you call it. Yeah. I also have a couple new songs released uh, that are coming up on May Day on all the music download sites, but um, as far as the city council, I'm considering running against Sarah Nelson because she voted against the anti-caste discrimination ordinance. Okay. And she was also against Shama Sawant's resolution supporting the Starbucks workers' right to organize. So I think it's time for a much more progressive candidate to run against her for that seat. Okay. But um, keep an eye on Shama Sawant, even though she's retiring from the Seattle City Council. I swear someday she may win a Nobel Prize, Tom, because once again, she's helped spearhead something that has put Seattle on the map again. And it's once again broken new ground and set a new standard that might serve as a model for the rest of the country by passing this ordinance banning pa uh, caste discrimination. And it's become an international news story, and it's definitely put our Democrat Socialist City Council member on the world stage again. Uh, she introduced the legislation. She has a Ph.D. in economics, but she was born in India. And there's been a large influx of immigrants from South Asia here. Of course, my friend and our, our representative in Congress, Pramila Jayapal, was also born in India. Um, there's especially been a large influx of employees into the tech industry from South Asia. So caste discrimination has become a big issue here because, mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately, that tradition has also been transferred here. Yeah. But uh, keep an eye on Shama Swamp because she was largely responsible for spearheading the $15 an hour minimum wage campaign that quickly spread across the country. And she's been very instrumental in supporting the rights of Starbucks and Amazon workers to organize labor unions. Um, I think what she's going to do, she said that she wants to retire from the city council and spearhead a labor union movement called Workers Strike Back. So you hmm. you can bet you'll hear more from her after Good. she retires from the city council. Good. I'm, I'm glad to hear She's that. I was, person. When, when, when I first heard that she was retiring, uh, you know, the, the flags went off, you know, is, is she being harassed? Is she burned out? Is Or on the other hand, is she, you know, aspiring for something bigger and better? Um, you know, sometimes city council is a stepping stone for, for, you know, most politicians, actually, you know, people, in, a lot of people in Congress start out with city council. Um, I just didn't know. Yeah, I think you'll you'll hear a lot more from her on the world stage. And and by the way, the council member that I mentioned, Sarah Nelson, that's not the labor union leader, Sarah Nelson. It's another Sarah Nelson. She spells her name differently. Mm -hmm. But she's been quite an obstructionist and much more of a conservative candidate on the city council here. So I think it's mm -hmm. time for a progressive candidate to run against her. And if that turns out to be me, then are these, are these more than ready to do that. Yeah, are these political races? Do you declare a, a, a political affiliation or are they non-political? These are nonpartisan races, non and also, as I mentioned before, they're publicly financed. So we have this uh, program called Democracy Vouchers, where each registered voter in the city gets $100 to spend on the candidate of their choice. And there's five and a quarter million dollars available to the candidates to help fund those campaigns. So wow. that would definitely be my choice instead of, you know, trying to uh, solicit funds from yeah. <laughs> from uh, political parties or major corporations, which seems to be, you know, what's happened in the past here and, and of course, in other cities. Yeah, totally, and it, yeah. it looks like also uh, Portland has some kind of an... Uh, Instant runoff voting or, or uh, we'll, we'll system see. down there. I just read about that. Yeah, we'll, I, I believe. I'm not sure it's been put into place. <music> Missed my opening rant today? It's usually published over at HartmanReport.com where you can read it and share it with your friends for free. Check it out, HartmanReport.com. Just some amazing stuff going on over on Fox News. Megan Lapp and, and uh, David Stevenson have been regular guests across Fox News, and they're, they're claiming to be all worried about whales off the east coast of the United States, uh, arguing that, uh, oh, these are, these are the result of uh, uh, the windmills that are out there, right? the ocean wind, and the work done to, to, to install them. Well, it, it turns out that uh, Lapp uh, works for an organization whose largest donor is Charles Koch, 
uh, and who don't, well, actually, whose largest donor is the Texas Public Policy Foundation that gets their money from Charles Koch. And Stevenson uh, works for a group whose uh, who's largest donor, the Rodney, Caesar Rodney Institute, is the American fuel and petrochemical manufacturers. So if you have friends who are watching Fox News and they're concerned about the whales, you might want to let them know what's going on. There's a whole video about it over at TomHarbin.com. Check it out.